Hey comic fans, welcome back to the Comic Fix. Now this is part two in this week of reviews. And on today's video, I'm going to start off with the review of Green Arrow, issue number 28. There are times when you read a book and it can be downright terrible. But a new writer can come onto the scene and just change the book for the better. Now Jeff Lemire and Andre Sorrentino came onto the scene, I believe, with issue number 18. They came on, they changed everything for Green Arrow. Now, with issue number 28, they have hit the pinnacle of their run. Andre Sorrentino, you can see he has all of his efforts being put into this book. There are some pages in here that just has your mind blown by what you're seeing. There's a point in there where you see Green Arrow facing off against this guy in a mask. And as you see the still images of them, you see the fight going on all around them. But I have never seen the a fight sequence in this way. I mean, you're just looking at this, you're like, oh my god, this is what art looks like when it's not hinged by anything. And then you got Jeff Lemire's writing. Now, Jeff Lemire, he has a hard task. Because I am going to spoil a little bit of something, but Oliver Queen's dad is not actually dead. No, he has been training his son and putting in some sequences into his life to turn him into the man that we know today. And with that, you would think maybe the weight of what Jeff Lemire is bringing to us would be too much. I would say absolutely not. There are just so much times in this book where you feel like Jeff Lemire actually has a plan for the stories he's putting in place. And what those plans are, I have no idea. With Jeff Lemire's writing, Andre Sorrentino's artwork, you are going in for a book that you have never read or seen before. I go on Twitter and I say to him, Holy fuck, Green Arrow issue number 28 is a masterpiece. And I love it. Um, Andre Sorrentino, he goes on, he's like, Thank you, David, so much for all the great things you're saying about this book. Everybody needs to go and read this series. Start off, I think, with issue number 21. That is when you started off with the Outsider story arc. Actually, no, it wasn't issue number 21. It was actually issue like, number 25. Go there and read the Outsider story arc that's going on. You're going to see things that you have never seen before. You're going to read things that you thought were never possible. This book is the reason why I love comics. Go out, read it, you'll be as surprised as I was when I just opened up that book. Green Arrow, issue number 28, gets a 5 out of 5. Fantastic book. Everybody, go out and read it now. The next book I'm going to be reviewing is Justin Gray and Jimmy Palamati's Batwing, issue number 28. Now with these two writers, you know you're coming in for a fun time. Now, I knew I was coming in for a fun time, but I didn't know exactly what I was going to expect. And what I came out of is that this issue reminds me of a Saturday morning cartoon. There is just so much craziness in this issue, it, you kind of really can't take it all that seriously. Now, there is a, a villain in there, and he is giving drugs out to all of Gotham. And the police, they have no idea who's doing this. The thugs, the gangsters, they don't know what's going on. They All they know is somebody's going into their turf, but they don't know who is it. And so Batwing, he's going to go try to figure this out. And also try to figure out who kidnapped his sister. Now, when you see this character, this bad guy, he has his big old head and he has like a, a rat in it. And you're just looking at it, you're like, oh, this is definitely a Saturday morning cartoon. And he's talking to the rats, and he's just getting all the gifs of what's going on throughout Gotham through these rats. <laughs> I was just looking at this, I was like, okay, it's nice to see a Batman-esque book, or the Bat Family book, that is not really taking itself way too seriously. But then you get the dark side. It's where you see Batwing going and just beating the hell out of some gangsters. 
and you're looking at this and you're just like, okay, when did my Saturday morning cartoon turn into the Frank Miller type of Batman? I mean, it was just like, this book, this issue, I just felt was very uneven. One minute it will be a Saturday morning cartoon, the other minute it will just be totally dark. Now, if this book was going to go totally Saturday morning cartoon, and that was it, I could say, yeah, Jimmy Palamonte and Joseph Gray, they did a very good Saturday morning cartoon. But once you saw the brutality of Batwing, you're kind of just left with being like, the pacing in this book, the what is the goal that J Justin Gray and Jimmy Palamati have in mind for this book? What, are they, what kind of book are they trying to sell? Because I feel that this issue right here just tells me that there's kind of an image problem for Batwing. He is not the ro or he's not part of the Bat family for se. He hasn't had a long history, but it seems like nobody can really get a grasp on what to do with this book and I was just left looking at this book and saying hmm this is a book that doesn't know the way it wants to go and so Batwing issue number 28 gets a 2 out of 5. The final book that I'm going to be reviewing for this video is Action Comics issue number 28. Now this is my first time reading this book with Greg Pak at the helm I have to say, reading the way that he writes Lana Lang and Superman is very impressive. You see the banter between these two, and you believe that these two have been friends for a long, long time. And he has a perfect pitch with Superman. It is not so serious that you just look at it and being like, this is just being dark for dark's sake. But it's not light where it's like Saturday morning cartoon. But his writing has a very genuine uh, Superman-esque feel to it. Where you have the, the banter between Lana and Superman. And Lana just says slightly, Oh, Superman, you make friends with just about everybody. And you see Superman get kind of like this little smile to his face. And you're just like, wow. He really does get these two very well. And then you got Aaron Cooter, I think that's the guy's name. He's the artist who is doing this book, and it is absolutely pitch perfect. I just love the way that he draws Superman, and it's probably easily the most fun I've had with the Superman book since the new 52 relaunch happened. It's just plain out fun. And for that $3.99 price tag of this book, I gotta say, I got my money's worth. This is such a fun adventure story that with each page and with each dialogue bubble, you just are having such a good time. Now, this is not the book that you're going to remember from years from now, but for the present, I got to say, this is the, probably the most fun I've had with the Superman comic since I can't even remember when. With a character that's had such an image problem, if they just take what Greg Pak is given to us and just run with it, and then with Jeff Johns coming at the helm, I can really say that we're in for a great era that's about to become with Superman titles. I do believe that finally DC Comics has two guys who can bring some life to this character that I love dearly. And it's been sad to see what people like Scott Liddell has done to this character. And if you just are looking for a fun Superman book, look no further than this. It's got action. It's got just pure fun. Look no further than Action Comics issue number 28. And for it's just my first time reading Greg Pak's type of work, I gotta say, I enjoyed it, and I'm definitely going to be going back and reading every single issue. I think he's only done three issues in um, his run on Action Comics. And i got to say, this is probably some of the best Superman t stories I've been seeing in the New 52. And with a character that has really been lacking, I'm just glad to see that we got a writer with Greg Pak and then a writer with Jeff Johns coming up that hopefully can bring us into a new era with Superman. Because I do think that the, super, the new Superman era is coming to us.
pretty soon, and I think it's going to be pretty freaking epic. So, Action Comics issue number 28, fun, fun ride, and I give it a 4 out of 5. And with that, I want to remind you that I am going to be doing a big old contest to give away the first four issues of Rat Queens. All you have to do is be a subscriber and comment down below and just get the conversation started. I just love talking to everybody and I just want to hear. Oh, um, ask me, tell, or comment down below maybe something like, what do you guys think about the way the Superman has been um, betrayed in the New 52? And do you believe, like I do, that this is... We're about to um, go into a new age with Superman and hopefully get some good Superman um, stories that are about to happen with Jeff Johns and Greg Paddock on the two big Superman books. Comment down below. Um, just love doing these videos and I'll see you guys next time on the Comic Fix.